Are stem cells helpful for arthritis? I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist. I provide education and commentary on all sorts of sports and exercise injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention for athletes and active people so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. One of the challenges that active people have as they get older, especially if they've been playing sports or exercising for, for decades, for their whole lives, is they can start to develop arthritis changes. Essentially, the cartilage lining in the ends of the bone starts to break down and you get wear and tear of the joints that causes pain, it causes swelling, and difficulty playing sports and difficulty exercising. But people don't want to stop exercising or playing sports. That's completely understandable. So what options are available? We've talked about in other videos things like anti-inflammatory medications, injections, we've talked about braces, and yes, activity modification, but some people are turning to much more expensive, newer treatments like stem cells. And so in today's Ask Dr. Geyer video, we're gonna talk about the use of stem cells for arthritis and whether or not it works. Matt asks, I've been doing some reading on stem cell therapy for meniscus injuries and arthritis in the knee. I'm considering this as I'm a young athlete, 29, who would like to keep being active and hopefully avoid or postpone a knee replacement down the road. What are your thoughts on stem cell injuries for knee injuries? As always, thanks for taking the time to answer questions. Your site and information have been a great help to me over the last few years as I've gone through multiple meniscus repairs and a partial meniscectomy. Thanks, Dr. Geyer. Well, Matt, thank you very much. I appreciate those comments. I'm glad the site and these videos are helpful. I think that his question about arthritis and stem cells is absolutely important important because as he mentions a lot of people aren't ready for a knee replacement. Yes, metal and plastic can replace the worn out bone and cartilage, but there's concern about how active you can actually be on a knee replacement. We've talked about that in other videos, probably not the best idea to do, you know, things like running and impact sports over and over and over again with a knee replacement because you'll wear that metal and plastic out a lot faster than if you do less impact activities. And that activity modification isn't acceptable to everybody. I completely get that. So some people have been turning to stem cells. Now, these are basically treatments uh, basically derived from your own body. Now, there are uh, products, I think, that use stem cells from other people, but what we're talking about is using, you know, basically your tissue, your blood, or, or what, depending on the type of, of procedure, tissue from your body to grow stem cells that then, in theory, turn into new cartilage, which, again, is what's broken down in arthritis. Now, I think there's a couple things that are important to know. Number one, insurance. I, to my knowledge, doesn't pay for this, or if they do, do, it's just very limited insurance plans. And these treatments are expensive, so you may be paying several thousand dollars, maybe several, you know, in the tens of thousands of dollars to get the treatments. And then if you have to travel to a doctor that does a particular one, that's even more money. So that's a lot of money out of your pocket. You need to know that on the front end. It's gonna be a long time, I would expect, before insurance companies pay for stem cells because it's experimental. And that leads to my next point about this. Yes, it's been done in various parts of the world for a long time. It's being done, it has been done over the last few years in various places in the United States but we still don't have really good data. And I don't mean a series of 20 people in a row that get stem cells and, yeah, yeah I feel a lot better. What we need are randomized control studies where you have you know, 200 people, they're randomized, so 100 of them are randomly selected to stem cells, 100 of them are randomly selected to traditional things we do, like physical therapy and, and braces, things like that. And you see how the, the stem cell group does compared to the essentially the control group and then we'll have a good sense of how effective these are. We're starting to do research like that but we don't have data at least of good quality studies right now to definitively say that stem cells work. Now the argument would be well there's no definitive proof that it works but I've tried things like cortisone injections, I've tried you know anti-inflammatories and, and other types of injections and activity modification and I'm still not getting anywhere, but I still don't want a joint replacement, I'm willing to try it even though it might not work 
is that a problem? Well, no, as long as you know getting in that, hey, there's a chance you may spend a lot of money and it might not work. It might though, so I don't think there's any downside to it. Yes, there's always, anytime you do types of injections, there's very small risks of things like infection, but I think generally the side effects are thought to be fairly low. The big one you would have to know is it just might not work. Okay, do you have arthritis and would you consider stem cell treatments for your problem? I would love to hear your thoughts or if you've had stem cells, how did they work for you? Below this video, share your comments, share your experiences. I would love to hear them and I know people all over the world would love to hear what you have to say as well. If you like videos like this and you want more information on sports and exercise injuries, injury treatments and injury prevention, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I record a couple of these videos every single week and they'll get delivered directly to you. Click the box in the upper right corner of this page and those will get delivered directly to you. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoy connecting with you this way. I hope this video on stem cells and arthritis was helpful. Please remember to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you right here next time.